hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how to populate your combo box with the database value so for example i open this combo box and all the values from the database is sh shown here so these are the names from the database which i am showing here in this video i will show you how to show your database values column values in the list box instead of this column i will show you how to load the same values in the list box so let's see how we can do it so first of all this is our window i will go to my toolbox and i will search for this list box drag and drop into my form okay just resize it and then i will go to my codes section of my uh window and in the last video i have shown you this fill combo method to fill the database value from column name so all the values from this name column mark and these all list was displaying in the combo box or wa was populated in the combo box right so i don't need to do much here i will just copy this whole function all the function so from void to the end of the function and i will paste just below the same method okay so what i have done is i copied the function as I, i pasted all the function just below that same fill combo function and i just change the name of this function as fill list box okay so i change the name of this function and which is list fill list box and then all the code will remain the same so you don't need to change much in the fill combo function so if you don't know the fill combo function code just go to the last video i have explained all the code there so just go there and just see the code and copy all the code from there and in the that we video we were populating combo box so go to this while loop inside this while loop i was populating my names in my combo box but this time i want to populate my names in my list box so what i will do is i will go to the design view i will select my list box and i will copy the name of my list box from here just copy it go to the code section and instead of this combo box we will paste list box so we replace this combo box by the list box so i have done just this to populate my list box and all the code will remain same so right this box dot item dot add names so it will add all the names to your list box one more thing we need to do is we need to call this function at the start of the running of the window so just copy this function from here go to the top where your pub public method is called and where this initialize component function is there last time we have called fill com combo so it was filling combo box and this time we are calling this fill list box so it will li fill the list box from the database so let's see if it works or not run the code use a name and password and it's correct okay it's opening the second well form and you see here it populates all the names from the database to the list box 
so let's check if these names are correct so you can see here all the names from my name column comes here now suppose you want instead of these names you want to show the surnames in this list box okay so how you can do that it's very simple just see the column number of the surname so this is column number 0 column number 1 and column number 2 so the surname column number uh, is 2 so I want to populate this column number 2 in my list box so go to your code we need to change just one thing here in my list box function I will change this get value from here so in your while loop I have declared a string called name I change it as surname and in here I write dot dr dot get value from my second column so I write two here and I just copy this string and paste it here now it will populate the surname column in my list box let's try and run the program username and password is correct and now the surnames are populated in the list box let's check whether it's correct or not yes all the surnames comes here in the same way you can show these age values or these employee ID values in your list box you can do one more cool thing with this list box if you want to show names and surname together what you can do is just right now you are showing the name just above just copy this code and paste it above and I want the name and surname together so I write this and the name column was one so I changed the column number and in here you what you can do is you can write name plus and double quotes you, I'm providing call colon you can provide space or something else and then surname so it will show name and surname of the employee together and it will populate in your list box let's see username and password is correct and you see mark and his surname let's check so yes mark and henry john warren see here peter parker here julie bell here so basically I wanted to show that you can show two columns side by side also in the list box you can show this age also and employee ID also in the same manner so I hope you have learned something new this time please keep watching these video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now